Nogales right on the Mexican border, south of Tucson. And Nogales Little League of Nogales, Arizona wins the 2014 Intermediate Baseball Championship. Oh yeah, some positive news coming nationally for Southern Arizona and the border southwest. Nogales, Arizona wins the Little League World Series. Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Collar. Yes, the 12 and 13 year old youngsters representing Arizona in the West would take on Puerto Rico for all the glory. And there's Nogales, one of three teams from Santa Cruz County to win the Arizona State Championship. And then they take home the West Regionals. And this evening on live national TV on ESPN2, they'd be gunning for a world title. But Puerto Rico would strike first blood, going up 1-0. Then in the third, Han Osorio will make Arizona pay. He will knock in two runs there, and Puerto Rico leads 3-1. But there is no quit for the boys from Nogi after some heads-up base running by Nogales. Dustin Bermudez steps to the plate with two runners on, and this ball is long gone. Ping, ping, pong. Just like that, Nogales takes a 4-3 lead after the three-run shot by Dustin Bermudez. Get this, my friends. Nogales scored five runs in the third inning alone. Now to the fourth inning we go and Puerto Rico trails 6-3. And how about Jorge Bojorquez? Blasting a two-run double to give the Arizona Borderland Brawlers an 8-3 lead. Arizona would score 10 unanswered runs. On to the seventh we go. It's the final inning with Arizona leading 11-3. And look at the defense with Jorge Bojorquez making the diving catch. Puerto Rico would score one run that inning, but no worries because Nogales will hold on and the celebration continues on the field and with the fan fiesta in the stands. Bring on the Gatorade bath. Here it comes. The thirst for a world championship has been quenched. Nogales is bringing the Little League World Series title back to the border southwest in southern Arizona. Now, if you're wondering, the team returns to the Tucson International Airport at 5.25 p.m. tomorrow, flying United Airways going out and give them high fives. And hey, at 7.30, there'll be a parade in downtown Nogales. All fans are encouraged to turn out. Winning a World Series title is something that most cities never achieve at the Little League and youth level, but here in the Tucson area, we've been a bit spoiled the last 12 months. Remember in August of last year, the Sunnyside Little League softball team won the Little League World Series on national TV, and we're also talking ESPN, and just like Nogales this evening, a group of players from Mission Manor Park in Tucson knocked off Puerto Rico as well, 10-0, their semifinal matchup. This season, the same group of youngsters, now 13-year-olds, are undefeated in the West Regionals and are just two victories away from another berth to the Little League World Series. Sunnyside takes on Alaska next on Wednesday at Arthur Pack Park in a battle between unbeatens. And over the weekend, the Tucson Scramblers club team took home the ASA 18 and under West National Championship. Coach Bruno Gonzalez and the group of Tucsonans knocked off the Pacific Coast Predators to win it all once again. And hey, how about this? Another little league team from Nogales, the 13-year-old juniors, beat Utah tonight 5-0. They play Southern California in the championship with a winner advancing to the Little League World Series. Ah, lots of Southern Arizona pride in baseball and softball, that's for sure. Meanwhile, and on the boys' end, as the Nogales Little League juniors and seniors are still alive in their Western Regionals, the intermediate 12 and 13-year-olds begin World Series play later today in California. Remember, they played regionals right here in Southern Arizona. So now, road trip. It feels great, man. Um, meet new teams, go have fun, have vacation for the first time because we didn't have no vacation because coach was going to tell us that we had vacation, we were going to be out. So now we have the chance to go over there. I'm really excited. This, this is when my dream, my, my dream come true. But, well, we still, we still have, to practice, have to practice and work hard. All business, my friends. All right, you mentioned a vacation. Have fun out there in California, but you know the business. Bringing back a Little League World Series right here to Arizona. Go Nogales! To see Richie Melby's in-depth report on Nogales heading to California, just go to kvoa.com. That's it for now. I'm Paul Sicala for News 4 Sports Tucson. Have a positive, productive day filled with lots of joy. In downtown Nogales, all fans are encouraged to turn out. All right. Winning a World Series title is something that most cities never achieve at the Little League and youth level, but the Tucson area has been a bit spoiled the last 12 months. Big World Series. Whew, lots of Southern Arizona pride, that's for sure. Meanwhile.
Got to clap to them. Meanwhile, game one at the Little League World Series is in the books for the group of 12 and 13 year olds from Nogales representing the intermediate 50 70 team. It all went down in Northern California. Keep the applause going. How about this? Nogales representing the West would knock off West Virginia out of the Southeast 13 to 2. Now the boys from Southern Arizona will suit up next against a team from the East Coast on Friday in the winner's bracket. All right, in the pros. Okay, we're very happy. We're not at all surprised to tell you a Nogales Little League team has won the World Series title. Yay, News 4 Tuesday yeah. on Sports Director Paul Sakala. <laughs> I'm still cheering. Everybody was yeah. cheering in the newsroom as we watched it on national TV. It is very rare that a baseball squad from Southern Arizona makes a deep run into a regional final. But to advance to the Little League World Series and ultimately win a world championship, it is virtually an impossible mission for most baseball teams. Don't tell that, though to Nogales, with the packed crowd of Arizona supporters proudly yelling, si se puede, yes we can, go Nogales and go USA. A group of 12 and 13 year olds from Santa Cruz County cruised past Puerto Rico 11 to four, led by this three run shot by Dustin Bermudez. Nogales broke off 10 unanswered runs and beat a powerful Puerto Rican squad in blowout fashion. And on the mound, Herman Fajardo pitched a complete game. I'll have in-depth highlights on the Little League World Series victory later in sports. And hey, it's no secret, it was a great accomplishment for the young men of Nogales, not only for what they achieved on the diamond, but as ambassadors for Nogales and the borderland, rallying their city behind them. News 4 Tucson's very own Sean Mooney was with some of those fans as they watched the big game. Here's more from Santa Cruz County. For more than a week now, talk here in Nogales has had nothing to do with the border crisis. It's been centered on the intermediate Nogales Little League team that through guts and hard work made it all the way to the Little League World Series. The Nogales National Little League players did more than win a World Series. They lifted up a city that for months has been shadowed by a crisis at the border. Whatever happens in, with the... Uh, at the border is a different world from baseball. Baseball, it's in the playground, it's in the ball field, and the atmospheres and the kids, uh, we all protect the kids. While a large contingent of friends and family made the trip to Livermore, California, others headed to Mr. C's in Nogales to watch the game and continue to show their support. The community and the uh, all the elected officials and stuff have also gotten behind us, starting with the regional that we had here uh, last week and that uh, we expect to have next year as well. And that was a real uh, impetus there in helping us uh, uh, make this, this leap into this World Series here. So it's been, it's been terrific. A whirlwind week that made the team the talk of the town. You hear the talk about the boys doing good, and it's neat to have them. So we came to have lunch to watch them. <laughs> so Nogales now has a Little League World Series champion, and it could have two. The Nogales Junior Little League team is still in the running for the Junior World Series championship. Reporting from Nogales, Sean Mooney, News 4 Tucson. And that Nogales Little League Junior team, they won tonight. They beat Utah 5-0, so now they are one victory away from advancing to the Little League World Series themselves. Can you imagine two teams from Nogales represented They're strong? pretty amazing. Yeah. They, amazing. Imagine how good their, their uh, high school baseball team will be in a few years with all these kids uh, at the 12 and 13 and 14-year-old <laughs> uh, age level. Yeah. They're going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> Time for some victory parades in Nogales. Let's get Matt to set up the weather for a nice one. Hey, Matt. From the gridiron to the diamond now, the Nogales Intermediate Squad was just a win away from being crowned the 5070 U.S. Champions on Sunday. A win there then would earn them a berth into the Intermediate World Series. Nogales, Maryland, take a look on paper. The local Southern Arizona team rallies from a 4-0 deficit to pick up the 6-5 win. Nogales versus Puerto Rico Little League World Series Championship 4 p.m. today on ESPN2. We also have the details at KVOA.com. Side, Richie Melby, News 4 Tucson. Thanks a lot, Richie. And now moving on to Northern California, Nogales Little League continues to represent the crazy AZ. Very strong. The intermediate 50-70 team won their first game in the Little League World Series and will take on Maryland in the winner's bracket later today. And at the 13-year-old juniors level in the Western Regionals in Vancouver after a 5-4 loss to Utah, Nogales rebounded today with a 10-0 Mercy Rule win over Washington yesterday, actually. And in pro... <laughs> but will Arizona State beat the U of A. That's the question. It was day two of Pac-12 Media Day and ASU, uh, Arizona's heated rivals, took the might. Any bulletin board material? 
More on that in just a bit. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Sikala. But first, Nogales Little League has been absolutely sensational. The Senior League 14 and 15 year olds just won a state title, as did the 12 and 13 year old juniors in Kingman. And now another group of borderland baseballers can punch their ticket to the Little League World Series. News 4's very own Richie Melby joins us live from Nogales, Arizona with a front row seat to the championship game against Northern California. Hey, Richie. <laughs> Hey, Paul, you can hear the fire truck, the celebration not quite over with down here yet. No Gallus, of course, felt right at home on this field. The offense exploded 6-0 and in their first six contests. 94 times they crossed this home plate. 94 runs in six games. In the championship, well, the sacred spot was about 50 feet away. Way out here, the offense, well, it came in four runs. But as you can see behind me, the sacred spot was right there on the mound. Nogi had an all-star on the mound in number one, Aaron Solis. You can see a couple of the strikeouts he had in the early going. We were scoreless early on. Bottom two, though, after Mario Duarte got a triple to lead things off. Here comes Pau Carreño. And watch that RBI single would bring home Duarte. It is 1-0. Nogales with the lead. They weren't done at that point either. Take you to the bottom of the third this time. And here we go again. Duarte's got the RBI single one more time. Score is now 3-0. A couple of stolen bases and the score 4 nothing. Nogales heading into the top of the seventh. So it comes down to this for NorCal. Three outs to rally and try and tie or take the lead. But Solis was hot on the mound. Get this stat, 15 strikeouts in the 21 total outs. He's your all-star, he's your MVP. And Nogales is headed to the World Series after a 4 nothing win behind the arm of Aaron Solis. Um, like just in the beginning, I, I knew that I was throwing strikes, so I didn't want to let my teammates out, and I was trying to throw my best game. Like They know that all of us wanted that dream to go over there, so now we have it. So, yeah. Her confidence in him, he, even though he's like, he's 12 years old, and and he made a great, great appearance. Uh, what can we say about the other team? They're a really good team, but he had the... Tonight was his night. Yeah, tonight was his night. His night indeed. There's the left arm that got him here. There's your West Region champions, Nogales, heading to the Little League World Series. Paul, let's send it back to you. Got to clap for them, and I like your live shot there, Richie, and uh, hey, congrats to everybody in Nogi. Now headed from the border southwest to the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. That is where uh, it was day two of the pack.